Hey everybody, welcome to The Real Show Barbecue. Today we're cooking pineapple blueberry crunch on the Camp Made 12 inch Dutch oven that Camp Made sent me. And yes guys, I can actually do desserts as well. Um, also we're gonna be using the charcoal they sent me which is made from coconut. It's supposed to be eco-friendly, uh, burns twice as long. Let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'm gonna put in the, the show more section the ingredients and how to uh, cook this pineapple blueberry crunch. All right, we're gonna get our charcoal started. I've got about 30 briquettes in here. Again, we're using the Camp Made 100% all natural coconut charcoal. They've got some very versatile products that we'll be using and some other cooks. But today, again, we're just gonna be using their 12 inch Dutch oven. So let's go ahead and start this charcoal. And if you can find these guys, I got these from Walmart. They're just little tumbleweed fire starters. We're gonna get these nice and hot. Okay, we've got our charcoal hot. We've got about eight or 10 briquettes there and we're gonna sit the Dutch oven right on top of it. And we're gonna let this get good and hot. And then we're gonna start putting our ingredients in there. So we just give it a few more minutes. Okay, we got our Dutch oven pretty hot here. We're gonna start adding our ingredients. And again, in the show more section, you will have all the ingredients. So this is just one can of crushed pineapple. And kind of level this out some. Okay, and then one can of the blueberry pie filling. Again, kind of level this out some. We got one box of yellow cake mix. Kind of sprinkle that around in there real good. One cup of crushed pecans. And then we're gonna take and sprinkle one cup of melted butter. This is just something like you'd have ketchup in that I bought from Walmart. I think it's really uh, easy to do when you're wanting to get a pretty even coat here. Put our lid back on. We're gonna take the rest of our charcoal, sprinkle over the top. Out here in the country, so we'll just grab us a stick. Again, this is an easy thing to do, guys, if you're out camping or wherever you may be doing. You don't have an oven available simple easy to do and it's going to taste great when we get through so we're going to leave this it's going to take about 30 to 45 minutes and then we'll be ready to eat all right we're going to check it out guys it's been about 30 minutes got this nice little handy handle here that camp made makes so let's see what it looks like it's all that bubbly deliciousness deliciousness is going on Nicely toasted, there's a few darker pieces here, but overall it looks really good. So we're gonna do us a little taste test of this right quick. All right guys, we're gonna give this a taste test. I got my big spoon I'm gonna try it with, and it's piping hot. That is super delicious, guys. The sweetness of that pineapple, blueberries, if you have fresh blueberries, you can use this, but you probably have to use some sugar as well. The pecans that are in there that kind of toast it up, some of them are a little bit darker than others. That awesome, awesome flavor. It is super, super great. I'd recommend trying this. If you want to do it at home in your oven, you could do it. It's about 350 degrees for, again, 30 to 45 minutes. If you're out camping, I just did out this out in the backyard. If you're out camping, this is something you could do and you'll be the hit if you're in a campground. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this is something that you'll try. Um, be sure to check out Camp Made 
they've got some awesome products again we'll be doing some more videos um, using the different stuff that they have sent to me that charcoal is still burning it is super super hot um, and it lasts uh, for a right good while so if you haven't subscribed guys please be sure to subscribe and if there's anything guys you would like for me to try any suggestions i welcome them and thanks so much again for everything and god bless